four concussions, four events in my life that I have absolutely no recollection of, four times where the gym went silent and my head slammed the floor, where I stood up and began walking the wrong way, four times where I told myself I was fine and I tried to continue to play, the worst four years of my life. My name is Carly Hamilton and this is my concussion experience. I had absolutely no idea what a concussion was before my injury. I thought it was just a bump on the head accompanied by a couple days of headaches. I had no idea it could occur outside of sports or how truly serious it could be. And what I learned is that a concussion is a brain injury. I still have daily headaches. I find it extremely difficult to concentrate and pay attention and I do feel my memory was severely impacted by my concussions. I feel like I lost a lot of friends in the process. I found myself being completely isolated in my room in the dark because of my headaches. My academic performance declined extremely and I was absolutely miserable. I would look in the mirror and not be able to recognize the person that I once was and to be completely honest I don't know if I am that same person anymore. What worried me most was wondering how long it would take before she was better. Could she get back to basketball? Could she return to social activities? Could she go to the mall? Could she go to the movies again? Could she go to the high school dance that's next month? Um, you just want your, your child to be better, to be healthy, and you don't know with a concussion how long it'll take. And when you don't see the progress, uh, it's very difficult. Every day is just, you're a little bit on eggshells, just waiting for it to be better. The good news is it did get better, uh, and it is better, so there is hope. But at the time you're in it, um, it's very difficult. You gotta stick to the guidelines uh, that are out there and don't push your child to continue on. Uh, go by the guidelines if it's you know three weeks of rest and recovery you got to stick to it it's a long process but they do recover it takes time they need to rest they need to uh, do all the things in the guideline to get to get better and uh, eventually they'll get there um, and come out the other side you have to be patient a concussion is an invisible injury i would kind of use it to my advantage and find myself lying to my parents my coaches and my teachers to play in the next basketball game or to write the next test because I put so much pressure on myself. I had absolutely no idea that concussions would have a long-term effect on my health and my body. I was too naive to think that it would happen to me and I often think if I were to take concussions more seriously, if I would have had a better outcome. It's so critical to tell a parent, a teacher, a coach or healthcare provider how you feel as soon as you think you have a concussion. The long-term effects, the way you feel, are absolutely not worth lying about.